Hey guys, John here with Texas, and in this video we're going to go over a quick uh, way to set up Android Wear to work with an iOS device. Now this is not an official Android uh, or a Google uh, supported system, although we might be hearing uh, of that as soon as Google I.O., but we're not sure yet. This is just a quick workaround for those of you who might want to purchase an Android Wear device um, to go with your iOS device. Although I'm not sure why you would spend that much money on a device that uh, does not officially work with your phone, but if you have one lying around and you have an iOS device lying around and you want to try it, uh, let, well, this is how you do it. First off, obviously you need an Android Wear device and an iOS device, but you will also need an Android device. This could be a phone, tablet, anything, because you do need to have an app on your Android to get you set up um, before using it, although you will not need the Android device with you at all times after you get set up. First off, on your Android device, you will need to download AirLink Wear Connect for iOS. You can find it by just searching for Android Wear for iOS. You will need to install that. There are not um, the only thing it needs to access is your Bluetooth. Once you have installed it on your Android device, go ahead and hit open, and from there it will say to open on your watch. So from your watch, you should be able to go to Google Now, scroll down to start, and it's the first one that pops up on mine. Hit open and then turn on iOS service. Now a card has shown up down here. And you you it says disconnected, tap to start searching. Once you have downloaded onto your Android device um, the Wear Connect for iOS and opened it on your watch, your Android device is no longer needed. Before you can connect your Android Wear device to your iOS device, you need to download BLE Utility. So just hit install. It is also free. Um, and then enter in your password and let it install open uh, BLE Utility now that you've installed that and then hit the peripherals tab at the bottom go over to your Wear device you'll see uh, disconnected scroll up on that and hit tap it says making sure everything works you will then be prompted to type in this code on your iOS device so uh, I'm going to quickly do that real quick so Pair them both. And we're good to go. So that's it, and now you have Android Wear running on your iOS. So one of the cooler things about this is I do have um, both my uh, Android device notifications coming in here and my iOS device notifications coming in as well. The iOS are more limited um, in their functionality. I have clear or block app. Uh, I do not have the ability to reply like I do um, done reply all um, on Android Wear. So um, functionality is a bit lost, but um, hopefully we'll be seeing actual support coming from Android Wear to iOS um, uh, at Google I.O., but if not, there you go, simple notifications on your wrist at less cost than the Apple Watch.